Hi friends and welcome back to Akshata's recipes. Thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be sharing with you a very simple recipe with just four ingredients. So today I'm going to be showing you all how to make a very easy quick peanut fudge or peanut butter fudge. So I also have a recipe of how you can make your own peanut butter at home. But in today's recipe I'm using ready made peanut butter. So I have a few tips that you get this recipe perfect. So first let's see the recipe and then join me at the end of the recipe. So let's get started guys. So friends, let's see today's delicious peanut butter fudge. So I'm going to start by greasing a 5 by 5 inches cake tin with butter. Here I'm using a microwave proof uh, tin but you can also use the aluminium one. And then I'm going to be uh, you know, lining it with some butter paper. And now you can set this aside. So let's start making the lovely fudge. Now this paper is there because you can easily lift the uh, you know fudge once it's set. So now I'm going to take a pan. Now I like using my steel pan. You can also use you know any pan that you're comfortable making fudge or all of your Christmas sweets. So I'm going to start by adding three tablespoons of butter. We're going to let the butter melt. Now I'm going to be using one entire cup of peanut butter. So I have a recipe of homemade, how to make your peanut butter at home. I'll leave a link for that. Now let the peanut butter melt really well along with the butter. So that they become into a nice smooth mixture like this. And do scrape the sides at intervals too. Now I'm going to add half a cup of powdered sugar, which comes to about 65 grams. The peanut butter is about 250 grams. So I just took regular sugar and ground it in my mixer jar. Now I'm going to add one teaspoon of vanilla essence. And now all we have to do is just mix everything really well till it all comes together. Scrape the sides and you see that it starts to thicken. So I have stirred, I put a timer. It's what came to exactly six minutes till my uh, mixture was ready. So continuously keep stirring on a low to medium flame. And you will see that there are, it starts to bubble at the side. <coughs> so just keep stirring. And the mixture will start to thicken. So you can see that after 6 minutes I have turned off the heat. And if you scrape down the side, you know, it easily comes off very easily. It doesn't stick to the pan. So that means our mixture is ready and the aroma in my kitchen is just beautiful. So now all I have to do is just transfer this mixture into my lined cake tin. Press it down, smoothen it. And then you're just going to pat it down gently to remove any air bubbles. And now what we have to do is just refrigerate this for about an hour or two hours. And after waiting really patiently, I'm ready to demold it and you can see that you just lift the butter paper so it comes off very easily. And then you're just going to cut it using a really sharp knife. Now using this silicone knife is just really really sharp. And I'm just going to cut it into even size squares. And then just using a flat spatula, it easily comes off like this and you can see how amazing it looks. Now if you're making it with smooth peanut butter, you won't get the, you know, you'll get a different texture altogether. But this is the crunchy one which we like at our home. So you don't need to add any peanuts or any nuts. So our peanut butter fudge is all ready to enjoy. I'll show you how I store this and the life, uh, you know, the shelf life too. So I just put it in my glass container, just put some butter paper on top and cover it and I refrigerate this. Now if you refrigerate this, this will last for one month in your refrigerator. Of course, it's so delicious that uh, I doubt it will remain for more than two or three days because it's so, so delicious and my family really loves this. So go try out this recipe, guys. So wasn't that a real simple recipe? So like I said, I leave a link to, uh, you know, how I prepare my peanut butter at home, which is so simple. Uh, but like I said, I, today I'm using the ready-made peanut butter and I'm using the crunchy peanut butter because it already has bits and pieces of, you know, roasted peanuts in it along with the peanut butter. 
But if you want a more smoother texture, then you can go for the smooth peanut butter, which doesn't have any pieces of peanuts in them. So the choice is yours. But at my home, we love the crunchy uh, peanut butter much more than the smooth peanut butter. So a uh, few tips to keep in mind is keep all your ingredients ready when you're going to start the recipe. First, keep your cake tin lined with your butter paper because it's easier to lift it up once the peanut butter, uh, you know, the uh, fudge has set. So keep everything ready and then start with the recipe. Now I stirred this peanut butter mixture for about 5 to 6 minutes maximum on a low to medium heat. Don't make your heat, don't go to a very high heat because it will get completely burnt and it will taste, you know, it has that burnt effect or that burnt smoky flavor. So keep stirring gently and, uh, you know, uh, enjoy this recipe. It's very easy to make. It's very simple. Now another alternative for those of you who have a microwave at home, uh, what you can do is you can also... Uh, you know combine all the ingredients together mix them really well with a whisk or you know with an electric uh, mixer and just put it into your microwave and keep warming it up on the heat for about one minute keep stirring till you feel that okay it's come to that right consistency and then you can put it into your cake tin and it's, it'll get ready so either of the two I leave all the instructions in the description box below so if you like today's recipe then you know what to do give this video a big thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i've been putting up a lot of christmas recipes uh, starting november so that you know you can decide what you want to make you can list down all the ingredients and you can plan your christmas uh, sweets uh, recipes uh, you know as as you like and i'm also going to be coming up with savory dishes and lunch christmas lunch recipes christmas uh, snack recipes so keep watching Akshata's recipes thank you so much for being here thank you so much for your support and love and I'll see you in my next recipe take care of yourselves guys and be kind to one another like at you soon bye